In this video, we're going to look at finding an equation for a tangent or a normal to a curve at a given point. We've already established that dy by dx is the gradient function, or if we have f of x, f dashed of x is the gradient function. What we're now going to do is look at finding the equation of a tangent or a normal at a given point. What I'm going to do is draw a curve, and we're going to draw a tangent to the curve at a given point. So for example, if I had a cubic function that looks something like so, we could go ahead and draw a tangent. A tangent is a straight line that touches the curve. So we can see here it touches the curve. What we want to do is find an equation for this particular tangent. As it's a straight line, we need two things. The first thing that we need is a point. So we need a point on the curve. So for example, this point right here might be four negative two. And we need a gradient. And we of course can get the gradient from dy by dx or differentiating the function now to find that. So for example, if we had at this point that dy by dx was equal to seven, then we can simply substitute this in to the equation of a straight line. So we could use y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. So if in fact this was the point and this was the gradient, we'd have y subtract the negative 2 is equal to 7 lots of x minus 4. You can write that in any particular way you like, whether it's y is equal to mx plus c or ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. That is perfectly fine. What we're now going to do is consider the normal. The normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So if I drew on a normal, it would be at right angles with the tangent, and I'm going to put it through that given point. So right here, we've got the tangent now that's going to be this one, and we have the normal just here. As these are at right angles, we can consider the gradient. If the gradient of the tangent is m1, and the gradient of the normal is m2, we can say m1 multiplied by m2 is going to be equal to negative 1 as they're perpendicular, or if you like, if perpendicular. So we can see that m1 in this particular case, I mean I've chosen this value, it's not necessarily accurate, m1 is going to be equal to 7. All I do is write the negative reciprocal, therefore m2 is going to be equal to negative 1 over 7. So for example, if m1 was equal to negative 3, we could say that m2 was equal to positive 1 third. We simply invert the fraction and change the sign. So the normal to the equation at this point, again, the normal is simply a line and we need to two things, a point and a gradient. So this one would be y, we're going to subtract the negative 2, and that's equal to negative 1 over 7, and then we're going to have now x minus 4. And again, you could write that in many different forms. I'd multiply through by either 7 or negative 7 and tidy up. So a tangent is a straight line, it touches the curve at a given point, to find the equation, we find the point, if not given it, and find the gradient using dy by dx. The normal is at right angles, it's perpendicular to the tangent, therefore the product of the gradients, the multiple of the gradients, is negative 1. So if we have m1, for example, equal to 7, m2 will be equal to negative 1 seventh. All we do again to find the equation of the normal is simply substitute that into a straight line. So let's have a go at a few of these. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3 at the point where x is equal to 1, given your answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So we need two things. We need a point and we need a gradient. All you have to tell yourself is this is a straight line. So the point, we can say now when x is equal to 1, we're given x is equal to 1, y is going to be equal to 1 squared plus 4 lots of 1 plus 3. So that is going to give me now on here 8. So we've got the point and that is going to be 1 comma 8. All I need is a gradient. So on here what I want is a value of m. 
dy by dx, the gradient function, is going to be equal to 2x plus 4. I'm differentiating this. I'm not going to add 0 for the constant, as if you're at this stage in the video uh, list, this should be relatively easy. So what we can say then, we can write on here, uh, when x is equal to 1, dy by dx is equal to 2 lots of 1. All I'm doing is substituting in the x-coordinate plus 4, which is going to give me 6. Straight line equation, y subtract the y-coordinate of 8 is going to be equal to the gradient, which is 6, and then we're going to have x minus the x-coordinate. So y is going to be 6x, then we're going to have now minus, so minus 6 plus 8, which is going to be plus 2. So that is the equation of the tangent to the curve at that given point. So nice and logical and nice and straightforward. y is equal to 6x plus 2. If you wanted a graphical representation of this, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Obviously, you won't be able to do this for all uh, graphs and their tangents. That looks like it's going to factor. So if we just factor that, y uh, would be equal to what we're going to have, x plus 1 and x plus uh, 3. So what we're going to have then is negative 1 and negative 3, and then we're going to have a parabola that looks something like so. So that will do that. Uh, let's come through here. And this is going to be the point. That's not a massively accurate uh, graph. That's going to be the point 0, comma 3. So what I'm asking for then is now the equation of the tangent at this point right here where x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 8. So at this point here, 1, 8, we're going to have now a tangent that touches that curve and that is going to look something like so. Uh, so let's just straighten that out and it'll look a bit like this. So let's just go ahead. That's what we'd have. The tangent would touch in that one place and then we would have this particular line, which is y is equal to 6x plus 2. So touching in one place, and it will cross now the x, uh, the y-axis at this point here, which is going to be now um, positive 2. Again, the accuracy of my, um, my diagram here isn't great, but hopefully that gives you some idea. OK, let's look at another question. In question 11, we're asked to find the equation of a tangent of a curve, y is equal to 2x minus 4, over root x, where the, uh, the point where x is equal to 4, given your answer in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is just tidy this up. Remember, all we're looking for is a point, and we're looking for a gradient. So if you want to, you can get the point at this stage right here. So if I substitute this in, what we've got then is y is equal to 2 lots of 4, then we've got minus 4, and that's going to be over the root of 4. So if we look at that, that's going to be now 8 minus 4 over 2, which is going to give me a y-coordinate now um, of 4 over 2, which is 2. So we've got the point here, so we've got 4, 2. Now we're just going to split this up, as we've seen in previous videos. So we're going to have 2x. Now, the root of x, as we've seen before, can be written as x to the half. When we're differentiating or integrating with calculus, it's easier to write these as uh, powers with an index rather than, or sorry, x with a power or an index rather than an insert value. So minus 4 over x to the 1 half. So this is going to give me, using the rules of indices, we're going to have 2. x divided by x to the half is going to give me x to the 1 half. We subtract. Rewriting this one, this is going to be 4x to the minus 1 half. So dy by dx is the gradient function. I'm going to multiply down by the power and drop the power by 1. So multiplying down, that's going to give me 2 lots of half, which is 1, and drop the power by 1, which is negative 1 half. Multiplying down, that's going to give me plus 2, and then we'll have x to the power of negative 3 over 2. So at this stage, we can say at x is equal to 4, what we've got then is dy by dx will be equal to. Now, I want to rewrite this. I don't think it's uh, incredibly nice to deal with here because we've got some uh, negative powers. I would prefer to write this as 1 over root x. And what we've got here is plus 2 over x to the power 
of 3 over 2. You don't have to do that. You can, of course, write that as a third, and you can write that as a power. So if we substitute in here, what we're going to have is 1 over the square root of 4, which is going to give me 2, plus 2 over 4 to the power of, two, uh, of 3 over 2. So we take the square root, which is 2, and cube it, which is going to give me that. I think that's going to give me now a half. That's a quarter, three quarters. So we've now got a point, and we've got our gradient. So point, and then our gradient is 3 over 4. So straight line equation, y minus 2 is equal to 3 over 4, and then we can have x minus 4. Multiplying both sides by the 4, 4y four minus 8, expanding the brackets, 3x minus 12. So 0 is equal to 3x minus 4y, and then we're going to have minus 4. So that is the equation of the tangent in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. All I need for the equation of a tangent is a point that it goes through. So I found that by subbing in the coordinate, finding the gradient function, subbing in the x-coordinate, and then we put it in the form of a straight line. Okay, we're asked to find an equation of the normal to the curve uh, where we've got s is equal to 4t to the fifth minus 3t plus 1 at the point where t is equal to 1. So this is a normal. Now we're asked for an equation. That means that you don't have to put it in any particular form, so you don't need to tidy it up. As, uh, uh, for example, I did the last one as y is equal to mx plus c, or ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. We can just leave this as we wish. So what we need then is a point and a gradient. Remember, this is the normal. When we take the derivative, that gives us the gradient of the tangent, not the normal. So what we can say then when we've got uh, s is equal to uh, 4t to the fifth, so when s is equal to, uh, so when t is equal to 1, that's going to give us 4 lots of 1 minus 3 lots of 1 plus 1. So that's 4 minus 3 plus 1, which looks like it's going to give me 2. So the point is going to be now 1 comma 2. Gradient, what we need is ds dt. So ds dt, differentiating s with respect to t. So that's going to give me now 20t to the fourth. Then we're going to have minus 3. So all I've done is differentiated s with respect to t. Multiply down by the power, drop the power by 1. If I differentiate negative or minus 3, t I'm going to get minus 3. Differentiating 1 gives us 0. So what we can say then at t is equal to 1, ds dt is going to be equal to 20 minus 3, which is going to give me now 17. We can say m1 is equal to 17, therefore m2 is going to be equal to negative 1 over 17 if it's perpendicular. So all I'm going to write in here, we've got the point, points just here, we've got a gradient, remember, of the normal. So I found ds dt, that's going to be 20t to the fourth minus 3, substituted 1 in, got the equation of the tangent, that is of the tangent, therefore the normal is the negative reciprocal, so negative 1 17th. So what we can write then is the following, we can write that this is going to be s and then minus the 2 is equal to negative 1 over 17 and then we can have t minus 1. That is an equation. I'm not going to try and rewrite that. I'm not going to tidy it up. I'm asked for an equation. It's letting me off the hook in terms of simplifying it. Okay, we're asked to find the equation of a normal to the curve. Y is equal to x to the half multiplied by the quantity x squared minus 3 at the point where x is equal to 4 and we need to give our answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So normal again, all we need now is a point, uh, right, either way around, point and gradient. It's a normal, so we need the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So let's look at when, uh, so y is equal to x uh, to the half. So square root of 4 is going to give me 2. Then what we're going to have here is just substituting this in 16. So let's put that in, 16 minus 3. So y is going to be equal to 26. 
okay so 13 16 26 so we got the point so all i've done is got the point for 26 by substituting in the x corner is 4. okay what we need then is dy dx the first thing that we need to do is multiply this out in later units you'll come across the product rule um, and you could argue that it's easier to use a product rule uh, but for now we're just going to multiply out and differentiate term by term using our powers of x rule so y is equal to x to the power of two and a half which is five over two minus three x to the one half all i've done is simply uh, multiply through and tidy these up so multiplying these two is going to give me now two plus a half which is five over two multiplying through so dy by dx the gradient function of the tangent is five over two x to the power of three over two then we're going to have minus three over two x to the power of minus one half Again, you can write this how you want. dy dx is going to be equal to 5 over 2. If you want, you can write it as x to the 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 root x. However you want to do this, all we're doing is evaluating now the gradient of the tangent when x is equal to 4. So at um, x is equal to 4, dy dx, again, depending on how many marks you are expected to um, show, um, I'm just going to write this in. So 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is going to give me 8 minus uh, 3 over 2 lots of the square root of 4, which is going to give me 2. So what's that going to give me? That's going to give me 20, uh, looks like 20, uh, minus 3 quarters. Um, so what's that going to give? That's going to give uh, 77 over 4. So 77 over 4. So that is M1. Therefore, we've got M2 is equal to negative 4 over 77. So I've just written this as 80 over 4, um, as we've got 20 here, minus 3 quarters. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's probably the, no, it's not necessarily the prettiest way, but uh, that's what we've got. So Y minus 26 is going to be equal now to uh, negative 4 over 77. And then we're going to have on here X minus 4. Okay, so this is going to be uh, some, in fact, I may even use a calculator to do this uh, as it's so messy. Okay, so Y is going to be equal to negative 4 over 77X. Then we're going to have plus 16 over 77 plus 26 and I'll just I'll just put this into a calculator um, I'm not going to try and combine those fractions uh, my brain uh, this time isn't going to handle it so let's just put this in um, so plus now uh, plus for 26 what's that going to give me that's what it's going to give me okay so we could just substitute that in 2018 over 77 so plus 2018 over 77 so there we go you could argue that that did need a calculator it's a bit messy um, but if you're up to this stage that's perfectly fine so find an equation of the normal to the curve so we find the point we send in the x coordinate we differentiate we find the gradient of the tangent at that given point we then write the negative reciprocal substitute it into a straight line and then we're asked to write it in this form i think that's a bit ambitious without a calculator um, but that gives us what we wanted. So that's finding the equation of the tangent and a normal to the curve at a given point. All we need for a tangent or normal is a point and a gradient. They're both straight lines. We do that, as we've just seen, by finding the point that it goes through by subbing either x or y in or s or t to find the corresponding other coordinate. We find the gradient function, substituting the value, evaluate the gradient. If it's a tangent, that goes straight in. If it's a normal, it's a negative reciprocal. That goes for a straight line uh, equation, and then we just simplify if required.